ça, ça. So those guys just came out of the boiler. So they have to seal it. Yeah, you can see the top. These guys are all sealed. And... Looks a lot better in here, so Panama thinks so too, right? We've got a contour table and some boring ass lights. It matches pretty good. It's not centered. <laughs> All right, this is a super frustrating ride. Um, I'm lucky enough that I don't have them very often with him. He's really, really good-minded. Um, but today, you know, he had a couple days off, he had a long weekend, and he was just really distracted. So he was not listening to my outside rain, just wanting to kind of lay on that outside rain there. So we just went around until he uh, was moving nice off my rain and moved around the barrel the way I wanted him to. He's also been dropping his shoulder on me a little bit here and there, so I've just been trying to pick him up. Um, and then when he does that, he kind of slows his feet down, so I've just been trying to get him moving a little bit more forward around the barrel and getting his feet moving a little quicker. It's kind of been our goal for the week, so. senior horses uh, the base Chester and the Dunn is Flicka I've had Flicka for 14 years now um, she's obviously been my main girl uh, we got into barrel racing together she was kind of my all-around horse but she really made me fall in love with barrel racing and then I've got Chester here I've had him for about 12 years um, so they're getting up uh, 20 plus years old these two so I've got them uh, a couple young girls who come out and ride them and it allows me to focus on uh, my colt and get him ready for for barrel racing so they're really well taken care of and I see them a couple days a week today look at this fucking ratty ratty okay we're gonna make some veggie broth um i've been saving up vegetables for the last week now we're gonna put this oh god i cannot do that one-handed okay it's too heavy 
Put this on the stove. <clears throat> Get it boiling.